This is KMTV 3 News Now, live at 6. I expect it to ultimately end up at the conclusion of their decision making to stand in front of the press and say the same thing that Don Klein said, which was that the shooting was justifiable self-defense. That was my initial reaction. But I can tell you that there is evidence that undermines that. And again, that evidence comes primarily from Jake Gardner himself. Those words tonight from Special Prosecutor Frederick Franklin III and the James Skurlock case. As the grand jury decides, there is probable cause for indictment. Good evening, I'm Jennifer Griswold. Skurlock was fatally shot on May 30th during protests in the Old Market. The man who pulled the trigger, Jake Gardner, is now indicted on charges of manslaughter, use of a firearm, attempted first-degree assault, and terroristic threats. 3 News Now reporter Ruta Olsenaida joins us live from the courthouse tonight. Ruta. Good evening, Jenny. So let's take it back to May. That's when the incident happened. James Skurlock was shot and killed by white bar owner um, uh, Jake Gardner, excuse me. And so it was initially determined by the county attorney that the that Gardner acted in self-defense. And then that's when the cries came out from the community. More protests followed, calling for a special prosecutor and a grand jury to overlook the case. And that's what they got. So special prosecutor Frederick Franklin gathered a jury of 16 members. They met last week to talk about the case. There was new evidence that was submitted. That's what we just learned in the press conference. Just moments ago that wrapped up and we know there are four counts those are manslaughter use of a firearm attempted first degree assault and terroristic threats in connection to that may 30th fatal shooting of james scurlock the shot that jake that that has been characterized as a warning shot now there are two shots before the shot that that uh, ultimately took the life of james scurlock um, it's that second shot that the grand jurors decided to charge attempted first degree assault. Jenny, let's go into these counts in depth a little bit just to talk about what they mean. So it was said that the terroristic threat charge came from verbal confrontation that was started by Jake Gardner against James Skurlock. The attempted first degree assault was tied to the warning shot that we saw from those videos that was open to the public months ago. Uh, but that the second shot is that shot that the grand jurors connected here and the manslaughter count. Now, this count uh, does not rely solely on the analysis of the video. There was new if evidence, as I mentioned earlier, that um, was not uh, available at the first announcement from the county attorney. So, Jenny, new information. We'll have to the developing story. Back to you. All right, Ruta, thanks so much. 3 News Now reporter Kent Lutzen joins us live from outside the courthouse where precautions have been in place with added police presence since Monday afternoon. But tonight we also have reaction. Kent? Yeah, that's right, Jenny. Immediately after this decision was made, the Skurlock family, along with their representation, Senator Justin Wayne, came to answer some questions uh, along with the media here, and we all kind of huddled up. Now the family says that although they're happy they filed the petition to call on the grand jury, that justice has not been served. And they say justice will not be served until Gardner is found guilty in the court of law. Now, they say that that will take quite a while, even up to a year. Now, as for the protesters, there was a large presence of police here earlier today, but it is pretty quiet right now. And the Skurlock family is really asking those protesters to just, you know, keep supporting them and maintaining peace. Peace. You don't, you can't, you can't cure violence with violence. Trust me, I know I grew up in violence. There's no way that's a cure. You don't, you don't heal the sick by making them sicker. You give them a medicine. The medicine in this right here is communication, understanding. County attorney Don Klein did come out as well after the decision was made. And he says the big question now is if the shooting was justified. And we'll have more on this. Like Ruta said earlier, this is a developing story. And we'll have the full report coming up tonight at 10. Reporting in Omaha, Kent Lutzen, 3 News Now.
Thanks, Kent. Omaha Mayor Gene Stather sent out a statement saying, I ask everyone to accept the grand jury's decision and respect the confidentiality of the grand jury process. The case against Jake Gardner will now move to trial. The U.S. Constitution guarantees all defendants, including Mr. Gardner, a speedy and public trial by an impartial jury. My priority now will be to keep our citizens and the city safe. We'll continue to follow this developing situation on air tonight at 10 and online at 3newsnow.com.